Little House in the Big Woods was the first book I remember reading, and I remember it because it was also the first book I checked out of the library, and I still remember all these years later, and, and that book was from around 19, I checked out around 1976. I also remember the second book I ever checked out, The Railway Children by E. Nesbitt. Um, the point I'm coming to is that the library for a kid, for an adult, for anybody is a world of wonder and it's easily accessible and it's it's a place where you can vanish from your reality it's a place where you can enter worlds it's and it's more than just a place of books if you're a kid if you're an adult it's a safe space because reading is an act of liberation and and nobody knows you're being liberated but you and a library has always functioned in that way for me which is one of the reasons why i'm a big defender of libraries and a big supporter of libraries if there's a conference a thousand miles away, I jump on a plane and I go because I know how much of my being a writer and more importantly being a reader was shaped by libraries. I come from a community where the only place where certain books would be available would have been a library. Um, I come from a community where if, if, there, if we're having, say, the culture war, the biggest defenders we have are libraries. There was a time when the only place you'd find on the road um, was a library. So I'm, I'm a huge supporter of libraries. I'm a huge supporter of the Minnesota libraries. And I hope you are as well, because the next six year old who's waiting to be blown away by a little house on the a little house in the big woods, or the latest X-Men comic, or the latest Judy Bloom, or you know, even Twilight, or Shakespeare, the next, that next six year old is depending on this safe space, this wonderfully creative space to always be here. And we really should do all we can to make sure that our libraries are still here.